Hello. A very good morning. It's 4 a.m. on the 17th of October, but I put this timestamp as 16 October because it's my birthday. So I'm thinking to do it here right in the early morning. I just woke up a couple hours ago from an early sleep. It's 4 a.m. or 7 a.m. 4.07 a.m. to be exact, and I'm going to show you um, fitness tests on Libero manufacturing that's done on Olympia ERP. For resources, you can go to my forum um, right here, and um, this is the page. Okay, you can come to this page and uh, read all about it, particularly the latest which is below that shows a full set of tests successfully run and explaining how and where to get the resources to or the full script to do it. And this compared with a review of Libero manufacturing done more than two years ago, also sponsored by Cisnova. And um, so it is a good matching, apple for apple matching to show that the migration to OSGI plugin framework works. And not only that, I've taken note that there are changes done to manufacturing since the last two years and that um, this code um, sort of some are broken particularly about uh, storage, the way storage is handled. And so let's get to the notes again. Now uh, you will need the um, fitness jar which you obtain from the project itself. Let me get to the project to show you what I mean. From the project itself um, you will have a fitness jar if you would check out the project and let me show you again and you place them onto your applications and then you run the shell which I've done here okay so let me just call it up right and with the fresh idempia which I've uh, imported fully um, a fresh database I'm ready to run it and I have these two plugins. Let me explain from the notes. I'm, go I'm going to use Eclipse for debugging because this is the fun part when you run the test you could stop the code and particularly uh, debug and interrogate what are these variables. So in your Eclipse you should you should already have the IDMPR core plugins, fitness server and fitness feature. Let me show you where they are. Fitness feature and fitness server. This comes from the projects, mostly maintained by Carlos Suisse and uh, Lao Heng Seng. What I've done is these two new plugins. I've done the conversion, the Barrel Manufacturing plugin. Let me show you that. Um, here it is. And it has its own embedded two pack. Right, it's an embedded two pack, which will um, be packing when you run it. So let me let me do that now. I'll just run it, and you will see it um, getting called, and the two pack will automatically pack in. The other plugin of course is the testing plugin which is written on top of the fitness feature plugin and use the slim service from the fitness server let me show you where that is it is here so I have migrated over my old test scripts and, and code and this seems to work fine as a new plugin Okay, now you will see that the, pack, uh, the packing is working to restore the manufacturing model into Idempia and uh, to get the change views, particularly because of the 
back um, broken uh, storage on hand and storage reservation replacement of storage model in the old Adempier and I've got that sort of resolved and um, let me show you the results of the test while this is going on right from the result of the test which you can pick up this uh, scripts right you can pick up the script and uh, when you run it you will see this kind of results and you should get all right and what it does is basically it does a usual setup um, of a business partner onto the furniture warehouse and there's a bill of material the patio set and you have to do this necessary setting which is set the bomb type to make the kit and prepare safety stock and the issue method is back, back flush and complete customer delivery rule complete line and before it begins anything you will check your storage and this is where the new stuff comes in if you compare to the old you see that there's only um, a test of available storage uh, all within one table and that was the issue with the old storage where you cannot get available storage properly and this is solved by having two models instead storage on hand and storage reserve and as you start you will see that uh, we have this situation and this is the net storage and then you will execute a sales order and this will put reserve that a patio set has been on reserve and therefore the available is minus one and um, then it will generate MRP records uh, which is a sales order in place and um, production records in progress of the other items but when you do a calculate material plan uh, this is foreseen it will draft out your requisitions here POR's requisition and you will say that you have ordered one, reserved one and none delivered and as you go through uh, requirements plan and it will begin to um, execute allow you to execute uh, movements and also to issue out this actual production process to, to create receipts and cost collection for costing and then you will see that the storage on the hand has been created and storage from minus one becomes zero and I place again this to, to let you see what will happen to them at every point of execution so the manufacturing order is completed and then closed and you'll find that it's delivered which in a manufacturing order sense is delivered to here your store and um, finally you can examine uh, all your final status of your MRP records and uh, even look at the notice I believe there are cost collection records so we can look through another test let's get back to the notes to see where we are now okay so we are ready to run the test we have to apply the script so let's look at whether this has been done uh, accounting posting is still there and I have to activate the plugins because they are on um, default or lazy mode but let me get to the test page now if um, you well basically when, when you have got that run shell running you will come to this situation and you will not have this two here so what you do is you add a child and then you begin to define this and you, you could do it give it any name <coughs> and, and create something with any name but to, to get the script you press on the edit button and you paste here from where I've pasted it for you from here just um, select all and um, come to here and just paste them okay paste them. so and then you you are ready to make them run 
by pressing the test. So let's see if I've activated the. Um, let me um, check the plugin. So you can see that the plugin are all on lazy mode. So I'm going to activate this first. One four six, and then the other two. So let's start one four six. It take a few seconds for it to come up. And um, so this will work in conjunction with the fitness shell, which is here. So it is already running to port 8089. And that's how you got running on 8089. So let's see that it's taking a while to come up. Uh, well, with the video recorder or screen capturing running, it usually hold up these processes. That's why um, I explained to you through all the other published stuff. Okay, if they come up and let's get this will be much faster. Yep, they are up. And let's have a maiden run of the test. Well, it may or may not work, but it should work then because I have a memory problem from here. So you run through, let's see if it runs through. No, this is worrying. Let's see, that's 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 the problem. Let's try again. Um, this is due to a lot of heavy resources being used uh, to achieve the app. Ah, it's finally working. That's very good news. It's finally working. I should end here, but I'll let it run through. But you basically get the idea. Let me get to the notes. Let me get to the notes. So, and yes, I did put um, debugging mode. So let me show you where I put in the notes because. Uh, yeah, you can see that it's running here are the prompts beautiful. It's really running um, I did put some debugging notes here and there. Let me show you what I'm talking about uh, For certain things because um, Yeah, here's the debug mode Let me turn on the debug and let me show you what I'm trying to debug at the moment now. What I'm trying to debug is these um, net requirements because from the... I'm not happy with some of the results that I will show you here. You can see that it is making two separate requisitions. 20 safety stop for chair and um, four more chairs separate. They should consolidate as referring to the older if you refer to the older um, test two years ago, you see they are consolidated. I'm not too worried about that because I can easily um, debug them now. See, by placing a, a stop there, I think it's passed. The system has, um, yeah, yeah, it's been bypassed. I activated the breaker too late, but but it works. You you get the idea that now. And it tries to roll back, but this sometimes doesn't work depending on smooth. But so this is the whole idea that you are able to robustly test um, a big plugin such as Libero Manufacturing using fitness test that works on the two wonderful plugins that um, Carlos and Heng Seng has put up on the Idempia project. And with any module you have, you could devise your own uh, plugin and all this is up in my bit bucket. Right? Let's refer them to let me type it here my bit bucket bucket.net one. You you can find them there. Okay. So well I will have to um, lock off here and uh, happy birthday to myself. <laughs> I got some presents and chocolates especially for my kids. So have a good day and this effort has been brought to you by a very nice and generous sponsor, Sysnova of Bangladesh. Bye-bye. Good day.